diseases of onion so we'll see the list of important diseases in onion so my name is janet shankar reddy and i am doing phd plant pathology in anamal university so these are all the list of important diseases in onion first one is purple blotch which is caused by paltrinaria puri and smut which is caused by urocystis sepulae and pythium root rot which is caused by the species of pythium affinidermatum and pythium dibarian and pythium ultimum are these three species are involved in the pythium root rot of onion and smudge which is caused by cotrotrichum sersinens basal root rot caused by fusarium maxisporum pharma species sepe downy mildew which is caused by pernospora destructor and white rot which is caused by slerotina sepiorum and a leaf blight which is a uh, caused by botrytis species and onion yellow dwarf which is a viral disease caused by onion yellow dwarf virus so the first one is purple blotch or scald which is caused by alternaria pori <coughs> so coming to the symptoms symptoms we can see here in uh, leaf and as well as uh, foliage we can clearly see the symptoms here so this infection can be seen in almost all crop stages i mean uh, stages of crop growth so we can if we, if we see the symptoms a small white color initially white color lesions with a yellow halo can be seen here initially small white color lesions with a yellow halo can be seen in later stages valvetic concentric rings can be seen here valvetic concentric rings can be seen because the formation of concentric rings will be the characteristic feature of alternaria so initially this white color lesions can be slowly converted into black color or brown in color and with yellow halo with yellow margin sorry with yellow margin can be seen here and uh, you know it, if you see this it look like to decaying or uh, you know uh, uh, some depressed this type of lesions can be seen here this initially the small lesions are formed they, this all small lesions are coagulized and form i mean uh, and uh, appears a very big uh, you know big lesions so the infected bulbs are uh, the infection also can be seen in bulbs that produce yellow or reddish uh, watery rot symptoms in early in bulbs so it, it, the affection i mean the infection of uh, bulb is very rare but the symptoms in the leaf or foliage can be clearly seen with here water soak lesions are uh, uh, white color lesions initially appears and then convert into brown color black color with a, a yellow color uh, you know yellow color uh, ending uh, we can clearly seen here with the coloring with the concentric rings it is a very very important one so coming to the management aspects uh, select the diseased free bulbs and see treatment with the theram uh 2.5 uh, gram per kilogram of seeds are spraying mango zip 0.25% or copper oxychloride 0.25% uh, mixed with the stickers at the rate of 1 ml per liter of the solution can control the disease so coming to the second one smut urocystis sepulae so the disease can be appears uh, especially during the seedling stage you can see here during the emergence of seedlings or the initial stages of a uh, crop growth we can observe this uh, smut disease so due to this uh, smut disease the seedlings will die within 3 to 5 weeks after uh, transplanting so if you see here the brown color or the black color blisters or powdery growth can be seen on seedlings especially uh, uh, especially on the root region seedlings i mean uh, uh, on the bulbs and uh, you know matured bulbs also we can see the black color powdery growth on the matured bulbs also and we can also see on uh, leaves also blistered uh, 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 pustules can be seen on and uh, this black color spore masses are exposed to outside and we can clearly see and this bulb size also can be reduced if you see this uh, uh, infected with the smut the bulb size also can be reduced black color spore masses on uh, uh, on uh, you know uh, on uh, bulb and as well as the black color spore masses especially during seedling emergencies will be the most characteristic feature so this onion bulbs infected with smut is un completely unfit for consumption so coming to the management aspects uh, crop rotation and uh, nursery drenching with uh, uh, sulfur at the rate of 3 gram per liter of water and along with the seed treatment with uh, sulfur 2 gram per kg of seeds can reduce the incidence of this smut disease so coming to the third one pythium root rot which is caused by uh, various species of uh, pythium that is pythium affinidermatum pythium dibarianum and pythium ultimum are the species involved in the pythium root rot so if you see the symptoms uh, uh, the disease can be uh, two types that is pre emergence damping up and uh, uh, post uh, post emergence uh, damping up that I mean root rot root rot two types so here in uh, pre emergence damping up uh, the infection can be seen before the emergence out from the soil so infection can be seen before the emergence out from the soil so that this uh, affected plants get killed in the soil itself before the prior to the seed germination or before the emergence emerge out from the soil it is considered if we planted a seed here so before they emerge it out from the soil the plant seed or uh, seed material get killed inside the uh, soil itself uh, this is pre-emergence damping up and coming to the post-emergence damping up so 
the seed materials i uh, know the, uh, the the germinated materials can be rotted and they can be killed after the emergence out from the soil after the emergence out from the soil so maybe post emergence damping of can occur uh, uh, very late it causing uh, uh, that also causing a very stunting i mean stunting and as well as uh, rotting of uh, roots also can be seen here uh, rapo, this is a post emergence damping of this is pre emergence damping of we can barely see uh, it rots after the emergence out from the soil that is post emergence so coming to the management aspect seed treatment with therum or captan at the rate of 4 g per kg of seeds and uh, 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 bulb may be dipped in the therum solution at 2.025 solution of therum and after sprouting a uh, root region of the plants along with the rows can be given as a soil drenching of copper oxychloride at the rate of 0.25% that is a, a, a soil drenching with copper oxychloride 0.25% uh, can effectively manage this disease so coming to the next one basal rot or bulb rot or wilt which is caused by fusarium oxysporum pharma species sepe so coming to this uh, uh, basal rot or bulb rot or wilt in them itself indicates a wilting so uh, when plant is uh, uh, attaining maturity during maturity stage wilting of plants drying of leaves and as well as the decaying of uh, uh, bulbs can be seen here during especially uh maturity stage wilting of uh, plant leaves and as well as drying of leaves along with uh, uh, decaying of uh, uh, you know uh, bulbs and then uh, so whitish color mycelial growth also can be seen uh, uh, lightly developed if you see the lightly developed bulb whitish color mycelial growth also can be seen uh, this is one of the characteristic symptom of uh, this uh, wilt and especially uh, the basal portion of the bulb we can see here the, especially the basal portion of the bulb is softening and you know uh, 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 i mean uh, white color mycelial growth can be seen so coming to the management aspects crop rotation and uh, Uh, you know seed treatment with therum at the rate of 2.5 g per uh, uh, kilo or uh, using of trichoderma and uh, spot drenching with uh, uh, 0.1% of carbondazim and that helps to reduce the incidence of disease so coming to the next disease downy mildew which is caused by peronospora destructor and the name itself indicates downy so white color downy growth can be seen on the surface of leaves that's why they hang down can be seen white color down, downy growth if you see uh, it look like rotting or uh, uh, dying symptoms can be seen this is the white color downy growth uh, that appears on the leaves and then uh, so the finally infected leaves are dried up so if you clearly see her water content can be reduced so the infected plant leaves are dried up so these there are the major symptoms of downy mildew so coming to the management aspects so spraying mango zip point to 4% pers- 2% is effective and along with uh, uh, you know transplanting uh, uh, spraying uh, should be uh, started 20 days after transplanting and uh, repeated at 10 to 12 days intervals can be required so so the next one is white rot uh, which is caused by sclerotinium sclerotium sepiorum so so if you see the symptoms especially on uh, uh, in uh, in bulbs we can uh, discuss only about uh, bulbs so if you see the leaves you know uh, black color or die back can be seen uh, if we if we pull out the roots if we pull out the roots of uh, onion bulb on the on the lower size of bulb we can see on the base of the bulb we can see the white color or the brown color or pinkish color uh, mycelial growth can be seen along with here yeah, numerous black spherical or numerous sclero share produce along with here we can see here because it is sclerotium sepiorum where it produce sclerotium as a resting structure so if we pull out we can see the white color mycelial growth at the base along with the sclerotium formation of sclerotia can be seen in uh, uh, bulbs also so this bulb is on in uh, uh, in later this bulb are completely rots and uh, uh, it uh, fails to fetch the market price and this is the culture of uh, sclerotium and the laboratory culture so coming to the next this is leaf blight or blast which is caused by the species of botrytis so coming to the symptoms so this blight or leaf blight can be mostly seen in the cooler climate areas so uh, you know light infection cannot uh, uh, reduce the yield but a severe infection definitely damage or uh, have a great impact on yield and uh, you know a numerous small specks a number of many number of small specks or hundreds hundreds of uh, small specks initially seen on this foliage so this disease spread rapidly to the entire crop areas this white color numerous specks can be seen on the foliage they will coalesce in later stages and big big spots are uh, uh, seen on the foliage and as well as in uh, i mean in leaf so in later stages it will get killed the crop and entire crop may be killed in later stages of crop growth so coming to the management aspects uh, bulb treatment with captan or therum 
at the rate of 0.25 percent along with uh, spraying mancozibar menabar chlorothenol can be required and uh, more most important thing is that f- for every five to seven days a fungicide should be applied for the disease control for one application one spraying or one application for every five to seven days uh, for control of disease is very very essential so coming to the questions related to ars or net we can expect causal organisms from this and uh, uh, maybe purple blotch of onion is caused by altern area pori and uh, pithium root rot there are three species are which are involved in pithium affinity dermatum and pithium uh, debarian and pithium some other species also involved in so there might be a chance of asking this and the uh, very very important one uh, onion downy mildew is caused by pernospora destructor and i had seen it many places this is very very important question and along with that uh, there might be a chance of asking other causal organisms also but these three are very very important uh, if it comes to onion so this is about onion and their diseases